Hi everyone, welcome. It's Wednesday and uh, we are in the Don't Let It Stew studio, which is in my apartment. And we have her in the flesh here. We have Anna Roseman here today. Huh? Hi, in Hi. the flesh. You, you need to call it the Don't Let It Studio. Oh. Hello. I have to send her back to China and get this. <laughs> get this uh, <laughs> you, you literally did like a Chris Jenner. Like, it's fucking just laugh. a part of my life. I don't know how to laugh as Anna anymore. Um, oh, my God. That's so funny. What um what's doing this week? Do you have anything that's doing this week? Yeah, I got a lot of stuff doing. What? I, I what? don't know when I never I don't know when <laughs> how long do we have here? You're the best guest for this show. Thank you so much. This is therapy, right? How, yeah. Do is, you take a copay so or <laughs> <laughs> um no, seriously, I don't uh, you're talking to someone who's like, I don't know when I'm not stewing. You know what I, I mean? Do you want okay? I, I have something that I was thinking about. And I'll probably have him on actually at one point. I'd like to be kind of controversial if he, I think he will come on. But um, do you have an issue with people being friends with their exes? Ooh, um, no, because I'm friends with all my exes. Okay, me too. Bar okay. bar one. Yeah. But um, I was like, that would be really hypocritical if I was like, absolutely. And I'm like, wait, I'm friends with my exes. Okay, so because, so when your relationships ended, probably, they probably ended like, amicably or like you know you probably took a break for a few months and then we're like okay we can hang out now we can talk or whatever is that kind of how it went or what um no i had a long i had an ex of seven and a half years so we like got a dog together we had two okay. apartments together when oh, we like broke up it was like a six month process i'd say of of the end <laughs> yeah okay it's different to mine so I mean, but yeah. then I, i'd say we didn't speak for like three weeks and then we like we're like okay this is stupid we were friends like yeah 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 I, does your your current husband right no or boyfriend uh, i don't know i, fuck, I can't i'm give not up. married i'm a single woman on paper <laughs> <laughs> i don't think he's gonna want to like hear that but uh so how, how long have you been with him eight years eight, that's amazing you're I know, probably gonna right? get married because i'm only like 18 it's so crazy i've had so, two long so, relationships it's so young it's so good um <laughs> But he doesn't have any issue with you being friends with your exes, does he? Um, or like ish? You know, I kind of presented it up front in the relationship. Yeah. And I was like, I talked to my ex-boyfriend. He's a friend of mine. You know, we don't talk all that much. No, of course. It's like yeah. birthdays. One, we'll check in every so often. Sure. But it's not like every day or anything. Um, I think he was like, whatever, you know, because I sort of presented it as like, this is who I am. I, I, you know, like we even have friends, mutual friends yeah, who I've yeah. hooked up with and he knows and he's like, whatever. whatever. It's like, if you're secure in your relationship, it's like, whatever. I know. I, I yeah. totally, he will always say he hates my ex. I'm like, you never met the guy, but he's like, yeah, yeah. but like, obviously he's, he sucks. So like I hang out with my ex now, um, Thomas and like his new boy, like his boyfriend, Ryan of like two, two and a half years or something like that now. Um, and they're getting married, but like, I'll find we're all hanging out. And then like, Ryan is like, I can't fucking stand him. And I'm like, no, no, it's fine. You just have to go through it with him. And like, he's a good guy. Like, you know, it's just he's like, commiserating I, yeah, he's commiserating you know? with me. And so I give him like Ryan advice, like on it. And it's just so fucking funny. And he's like, Hey, and then I'll get a text that says like, Hey, thanks for the pep talk yesterday. And I'm Aww. like, no, you'll get through it. Like they're, they're like, he is the way he is just like. But like he's a good guy, you know what I mean? Yeah. He's not like horrible. He just he'll push your buttons. He's really good at doing that. That's really funny. It's funny though. Yeah, I just was I was just kind of like, what am I going to do this week? I was like, oh, that's a good question. I told you what I was doing on. Did you travel stuff? Travel, honestly. Okay. When you start with the travel, we're going to get to Delta. Then after that, okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm already. I'm like my heart hurts from thinking about my. She's travel. look. If you're on YouTube, watch this. She's like <laughs> waving her hand at me. She's like, get the fuck away. Oh, no, it was really bad this week. Why? It was really bad. You, well, I'm you not have allowed two to talk dogs. about it yet. Why are you not allowed to oh, talk about it? Oh, I thought you said you want me okay, to Okay, so no, you t this is your stew, right? Yeah, I'm stewing over travel. Travel is shit these days for Why? everyone, I'd say. I, I don't know anyone who's like, I had a perfect day at the airport. You know, like those like meet the parents movies where yeah, like everything yeah. goes wrong. That's everyone's travel experience now. I'm pretty sure. Um, although my dad the other day was such an asshole. I d he heard what happened and he was just like, why do you have so much drama in your life? I was like, dad, leave me the hell alone. Like you didn't take this flight. Um, but I think you have fucking drama because you bring two dogs with you. No. Well, here's the thing. The dogs were the best part of it. Okay. The dogs were actually great. Yeah. Uh, I will say the dogs, having the dogs did set off this issue Yeah. because I don't know if you know this, but if you fly Delta, you have to check in at the special services desk when you have a dog. Okay. 
Whether it's so a, it start the drama kind of starts here, is it? Starts here because yes, yes, starts here because um so we had to check in there. Empty line across on the regular check-in. <laughs> but special services packed. Right. Because there's a school of two hundred kids going to no. a foreign country and half of them don't even have their passports. They're like dancing, they're like fucking playing games on their phones oh. and shit. And there's me and there's this woman who Yeah. Here's the thing. I I, do you know when you play this back in your head like 4,000 times? <laughs> this older woman and uh, and, she, and her, her like, I want to say her assistant, her personal assistant, yes, whatever, yes. was there dealing with the dog. And she had 20 suitcases. And I go, oh, where are you going? We're oh, chatting, shit. chatting about my dog. She goes, Milan for the summer. And I was like, that's oh. nice. And then... You're like, calma. Like- <laughs> I was like, okay. They're like, how about you? I'm like, LA, four days? Like, <laughs> I was like, and my flight's in 45 minutes. And they go do you want to go ahead of us? I was like, I don't think it matters with these kids. Like we're never getting there. Yeah. And I didn't go ahead of her. Cause this woman was like, you know, she was an older woman. What am I going to yeah. be like? Yeah, thanks. Peace out, bitch. Like, but you would have been, if there was no kids there, we would have been fine. Nothing. None of this would have oh, happened. Then happened. She would have checked her 20 bags or whatever. We, okay. we would have all been fine. Anyway, we get to the front. Have you ever had this happen? Gate agent. Thank you. Delta. This woman, I know her name. I took her name. You know, I took names. Oh. She checks us in, checks in our bags tags the bags lovely checks us all in gives us the dog tags filled Gorgeous. out everything's great we pay whatever um uh, my bag's not overweight i'm like god is watching me today if there is a god and uh and then she goes oh you know what it's actually one minute past the bag check so i can't check you into this flight you have to take the next flight you no have- effing way because the cutoff is 45 minutes yeah and we were there before that and sh- i said are you kidding me i said get us on this flight. No, you just get you us. just they tagged our flight. bags why, why can you tag the bag? You should have just ran away from the desk. I should have because then she sends us downstairs. Have you ever been downstairs at Delta at JFK? That's like jail. That's like Delta jail. It's always kind of dirty down there. It was terrible. The, like LA is so much nicer than the Delta terminal there. The rebook desk is hell though. There's like no lights working. So You're wait. literally in a swamp of people being like, <laughs> get me on a flight. It's hell. So you couldn't get on the flight. Couldn't get on the flight. I was crying. I start sobbing. Jared's like freaking out, but you can't curse in front of gate age. Anybody no, at airlines done. or else they won't let you ever fly. So we go downstairs. This woman's like, it'll be $2,000 to get on the seven o'clock flight. We had a six o'clock flight. I was like $2,000. No, I'm not paying shit. This woman was slow as hell because she should have just printed everything. Oh, first. she's saying like, oh, you guys were so late. Like it's your fucking fault. Yeah. No, 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 no. And Did then- you take fo- footage? This dog is no, gonna- but then she goes, just find a supervisor. He's wearing red. I go, what? I have to sneeze. Oh. Anyway, I find a supervisor immediately. I should have gone to this guy from the start. Look for someone in red if you check into Delta. Great. Okay. Guy, anybody wearing red is a supervisor, they explained. Everybody else is not a supervisor. I go up to this guy. I say exactly what happened. There were 200 students. We were waiting on this line forever. This woman checks us in at a snail's pace. And then after checks us in, she's like, oh, actually, you can't fly. I'm like, what? Tell him the whole story. He goes, no problem. He prints out two tickets. He goes, here, you're on the 7 o'clock. No problem. Just, I know. What? You just, But I feel like you kept your cool, and that's why it all worked out in the end. I was, there were tears down my oh, face. Oh, that's not cool. Okay. I would say it was, you know, he saw me struggling to be a human. It was so weird, but I was like, how did this happen? Anyway. The, no, it's. I didn't have a seat though. We sat I would, in the I would last lose my fucking shit. row. Oh, with the dogs. With the dogs. It's just the dogs part. It's just like, I was asking you about Milo. He's on the couch. or trying to actually bite through the wires. Um, but Milo's pissed. He's not a guest. Right? Yeah. He's stewing about this. He's like, bitch, you have someone else on this podcast and not me. What the hell? I know he was sitting on the back uh, last week. Um, so you, you said about the Delta thing, which is like, great. But I was just like, yeah, what? I need to fly rich. What? Did, were you at, did you go to the lounge? No, I can't go to the lounge. Why not? Because I'm not like a millionaire on Delta. You don't do it right. You I do, don't. And no. I need to do it right. So you have like the platinum card, like the, the silver one. Yeah. That's really like, okay, the gold is basic. That's kind of medium. You have to get the reserve card. Okay. The reserve card is the purple one. How much is that a year? $250. No, it's not. The platinum is like $350 a year. It's got to be no, more. It's, well, then yours is $250. Mine is $350. I think mine is $350. Really? It's so fucking worth it. Yeah, that's not it's much more. free into the lounge with that card. Okay. And then like you'll pay for one guest, whatever. Right. Your husband. And um, like whatever, 30 bucks. You really want me to be married. Th- it's a, I think you will be. <laughs> but um, he, like you, every time, it's just, it's 
just that 350 for like to get into the lounge. Oh, it's everything. totally worth it's it. It's so worth it. And like the menus are so good now. And like just they're all new lounges from LA and New York. You know, JFK is a really nice lounge too. Do you, here's the thing. I, I don't ever really get to airports early enough to lounge. Um, oh, I purposely go. Like I need like to get there super early. You check, you fly right through. You get your clear. Do you have your clear pass too? No. I have. Do you have pre-check? Yeah, of course. Okay, but I don't great. have clear. This dog is going. This I have dog. pre-check, but pre-check now is like basic. Everyone like has pre-check now. I don't think so. Well, the clear. I mean, oh, there's a new one as well. You can do the face scan thing. You have yeah. to sign up for that. That's really good. That's every extra. time you get a new one, they're like, oh, and by the way, <laughs> that's old news. We have a new. We have a new one, and they're like, <laughs> actually, they're like, the woman was like, fuck clear. You don't need that. Just go down to the one with the red fat. There was nobody there. Oh my and they God. scan your face. You walk right through all that kind of stuff. So then, um. I'm an actual million miler. Did I bring this stuff with me? Million miler. I'm a million miler. So I hit a million miles this year. Oh, and see, this is what I'm going to get you to read this out. This is why you're talking shit about Delta. I'm like, this is what they did for me when my mom passed away. Like, read that. I'm not to get morbid, but I never. Okay, actually, read it out yeah, loud. Yeah, read it out loud. Yeah. Mr. O'Keefe, thank you for trusting us with your travels today. We are truly sorry for your loss. May the road rise up to meet you until we meet again. Safe travels, your Boston crew. Isn't that so wow. nice? And they put me on first class to go home to Ireland. And this you know what she wrote at the top of That's it. That's really nice. She, she wrote the top of it. They she's... should do that for everyone who's <laughs> grieving. Are you kidding me? It should be their policy. And then she says, P.S. Remember to go to gate A11 for, for the bus. <laughs> <laughs> P.S. First class stops here. You got to take a fucking bus. Yeah. So that. on the way back from that flight, I hit million, million, million miler status, like midair from jfk to la and like they come down with a bottle of champagne i'm half asleep i'm like <sighs> wait in the middle of the, the middle flight of i was like i look like shit i wanted to do a selfie with the bottle of champagne and like you know congratulations you're a million miler like wait i can't believe they track that like when it happened oh yeah i said i guess when, like when you hit the the mile oh like, my god yeah so they came down it was like sparklers and, no there was no sparklers i'm kidding but there should have been no. <laughs> the lights turned out they're like million <laughs> we did it and then Don't you get like that. Oh, he's, he's good. just he's, he's the dog is eating the fucking wires here. <laughs> no, it's his hand um, now. So that's it. Get the platinum card. We'll talk about and see every time you spend the 30, reserve card. The reserve card. Every time you spend thirty thousand miles, thirty thousand dollars, you you get fifteen thousand MQMs. Yeah. And you know how that works, like yes. twenty five, fifty, seventy five, a hundred. Yeah. Um, or yeah. one twenty five. You'll never hit diamond unless you spend two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Like I don't, I can't. I can hit platinum, but not diamond. It's I used to be able to. When they didn't have the threshold of 250 yeah 000. they changed it in the last year yeah. where it's like ah, you so guys aren't as special as you thought yeah, and it's so fucking hard to hit uh and million miler like it doesn't really do anything i think it gets me like silver every year for free yeah i don't have to hit that and like but i feel like they move, i've been they move silver beyond. yeah i've i've and jared used to have better he used to travel so much for work now it's like less so he's yeah. like fuck i don't have it anymore um so something happened like it's it's I just have to tell the story because, okay, so I go to Kabbalah, right? Everybody kind of knows I wear the red bracelet or whatever it is, Mazel right? Tov, yeah. Okay, so people that don't know, I just, <clears throat> I wanted to just say it in a simple term. Kabbalah is a mystical tradition that explores the deeper meanings of life and the universe, like manifesting, all that kind of stuff, right? It teaches way to connect to higher levels of understanding and personal growth. Blah, that's it. It's really helpful. It's great. I love going, right? I like to manifest. So. Yeah, spiritual stuff, all that great. It's not like a cult. People say it's a cult. It's not. I mean, Madonna went to it. Like, you know so anyway there's a girl there now this room is like fi filled with like 200 people like they're all searching oh, so for they're all la <clears throat> all la <laughs> they're all fucking searching for something you oh. know there's a ton of like girls like you know jewish persian like irish whatever like there's all walks of life in there right it's amazing and people get up and talk it's almost like an aa meeting yeah it's it like, sounds like it. yeah it's like but the teacher is amazing david guillaume like he's he's incredible so there's a girl there and so everybody's Sorry. like, everybody has to write down like, you know, what are you looking for and stuff like that. And I'm kind of like, you know, I'm kind of like wanting to be bigger in my career, more successful and stuff like that. That's kind of my ones, right? Yeah. The girls are like, I want to find my soulmate. <laughs> like, I want to find my fucking soulmate. I'm like, I oh, need a husband. I need a husband. Like, where is he? And it's like, well, when you're fucking talking like that, he's running. <laughs> and so there's this girl. And she was like, I'm looking for my husband. Like, I just find it so hard. Like, there's just, I don't know where they are. And he's just like, you need to just let it go. Like you need to let it go. You need to not think about it and just live your life and just focus on other things. You know, that's basically. Which answer. I always tell everyone. That's when you <clears throat> yeah, meet someone. Yeah, exactly. When you don't give a shit, when you're not putting the pressure on it. Exactly. Anyway. And so 
she does this, whatever. And she's in like a nurse, like two piece, like, you know, she's probably coming from nursing from her job to Kabbalah. And I love her. I've gotten to like her every week and she's in my group. And so I noticed like one night she gets up and she kind of walks to like the entrance of the door, like in the middle of class, like from the back of the room. So she's not really noticeable, but like I see her get up Okay. and she goes and I see, I'm kind of watching. She goes through the double doors and she comes back with a bag and I'm like, and she sits down. I'm like, no, 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 no. I said, what's in the fucking bag? I'm like, to, she's like, I'm so hungry. Like I have to get a burrito. I'm like, you postmated a burrito to fucking Kabbalah class? In the, how long is the class? This is like an hour. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not joking. And I was like, I said, I fucking love you. Wow. I said, I said, I'm starving too. I'll probably go to Carl's Jr. after this. But I was just like, I like, That's you're amazing. Baller no, move. it's a baller move. So then, <laughs> so I'm not joking. So then two weeks later, like for some reason, like she had the bag, like, like at the beginning of class, I'm like, what's in the bag? She's like, oh, I just, you know, I just, I'm starving. Like I just ordered the food before we got here. And I'm saying, this is the reason why you don't have a man. I said, it's <laughs> fucking ordering Postmates in the middle of class. Uh, it's become a habit. No, it is. That's it's amazing. Crazy. That's pretty crazy. Like you can't make it through an hour. It's like when I see stand-up comedians, like they need to chug a beer and you have a 10 minute set. And I'm like, you can't wait eight more, seven more minutes. Was that not to loosen them up though? To drink a beer. I don't know. Or they forgot their jokes. So they're like, I'll just drink right now. But it's just, that's so funny. <laughs> Isn't to that me. funny though? Cause she's going to be that girl. Like she goes, you know, out with someone and you know, and she's going to be like, I need, I, I need something right now. Like, you know, yeah. I, I need my way. <laughs> and there, there was a there was a guy talking up he was telling his story and stuff like that and it was like it's kind of dark like drug addiction and stuff like that like and so the girl beside me she like kind of like rubs off me and she's like hey he's pretty cute i'm like what she's like no no i'm not talking to you i'm talking to her the girl that orders the burritos <laughs> Like, they're only they're there all to fuck. they're only there to fuck. They really are. <laughs> it's really, really it's crazy. It's amazing. You can actually watch it on live on demand as well. Um, wow, I know. So Kardashians, they're back. They're back. They're back. And I I watched the first episode last night. I haven't yet. So like I was like, you know what? You're gonna tell me about it anyway. So go go ahead. You know I love this format. You know it's really like a documentary. The way they do like first we're gonna focus on Kim. I thought you were talking about my podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I love the podcast <laughs> format too. Do you want me to go into that? <laughs> <laughs> the dog comes with, it's really like a nice, yes, you got a great nice. setup. Um, Sorry, no, I ahead. love the show. I think it's great. I think it's really just, you know, the whole episode though is literally like they're throwing Courtney. Here's the thing though. We know so much about the Kardashians yeah. from social media. It is a little hard to watch the show. Cause you're like, well, I know what this happens. was a year ago. We know she had a baby. We mm -hmm. know she got divorced. We know yeah. she went on this date. Like, so it's like, we're seeing all of it in real time, but we're also seeing it like we've seen a lot of this. I feel like they did a better job like a year ago of like hiding some of the yeah. stuff from the show. Yeah. I think we've seen a lot of this shit. Uh, no, but it is really funny because like, not funny, but funny because they throw court, Chris throws Courtney this like big baby shower and it's basically Disneyland in the backyard. That's the theme is Disneyland. Which we saw on Insta stories and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. But they have COVID, Courtney and Travis. So they're just like- What was this shot, 2020? They're, like, at, they're at the party, but they're like, the whole time they're like, we have COVID and everyone's like, stay away. <laughs> And then she's like, we couldn't not be here. Look how nice this is. This is Disneyland. We love it. And they're like sitting in the yard, like feet away from everyone. It's so weird. And like just on TV, like knowing they have COVID. Like, could you imagine that happened in 2021 yeah. or 2020? No, they're saying it too. They're like, she's like, I tested positive this morning. And everyone's like, just okay, proud. get the fuck away from me. You're nine months <laughs> pregnant. Are, is that allowed? Like what's happening? <laughs> oh my God. So, and so please tell me, and because I've seen this all over the place and it's just, they will go at nothing for an opera fucking tunity. <laughs> They're nothing. So tell me what happened. Of with the course we like will. <laughs> <laughs> Chris coordinates it all. A hundred said like, let's get Gypsy Rose. I heard this chick was popular in jail. Yeah. Yeah. She killed somebody. She killed her mom. Yeah. She killed her own momager. <laughs> I think, yeah, Kimberly and Gypsy Rose really have a lot in common <laughs> in terms of. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. So wait there. So why did they have her on in the it's first not, place? It didn't happen yet. Oh, for next week. Is it's it? like a, t it's a tr in the trailer. Like, do you think it's because, does Kim have the bar or mini bar? What do you mean? I think she. Did is, she pass it? I think she passed it. Okay. I Yeah. I watched Kim be like, 
surprise, I'm your lawyer. <laughs> Let's get this chick out of jail. Oh, uh, she, she was. Do, and was she, she was doing that, but she doesn't do it anymore, does she? I don't know. Publicity again. Just I don't know, but I love that they met. Gypsy Rose also went on like a press tour when she got out of jail. Like it was like Lifetime yeah. had that show and they set her up with like a billion people. So what if she was like, I want to meet Kim Kardashian. Yeah. I love her voice. Yeah. She, I mean, she could do that. She saw beat the beach for the first time, the Pacific Ocean. Um, <laughs> it's great. Did you see her Mother's Day speech thing? No. She's like, you know, was it pre nose job or after? I think it was after. I think Zach Zach Peter said it was after, <laughs> and she was just like, yeah, I just want to recognize her. Like, I don't hate her and stuff. I was like, yeah, because he killed her. So <laughs> may she rest in peace. <laughs> Jesus, her voice. Did you watch that show, The Act? That was the one with a Patricia Arquette. Yes, I and, did. It was and fantastic. Joey King. Oh my God, they were so good. Yeah, it was really fantastic. I absolutely loved it. Um, so I want to ask you. So let's talk about Bethany Franklin and Chanel because I think <laughs> we're driving down to Chanel after this. <laughs> we gotta. I gotta. I'm obsessed with this video. I mean, like she really, she really wanted to test the waters. Here. Yeah, <laughs> she really did because like she was showing me on the couch here. Like 12 million for the first video, 10 million for the second Huge video. Hits. The biggest hits. Yeah. Like, I feel like you were kind of mad about it. You were just like, what the like, fuck? Oh my God. These are, these are huge hits. No, but do you like what she did? She's getting a lot of shit for it too. I think. Is People she really? Are watching it. Yeah. Cause they're like, you're like, rich. Like yeah. you can get an appointment. You could call up and have, and say you're Bethany Frankel. It was like, a whole thing about her not being recognized at the door. I think really that's why she was pissed. Yeah. And I'm sorry, like a fucking bag of popcorn. Like. <laughs> No, like some of them was like, like that's like me walking into a store though. Yeah. I'm like, I have like Twizzlers out of my mouth. I'm like, can I come in here? I'm just shopping. Um, no, I mean, it does prove a point that you can't like that. They clearly profile people before they like you go in, which is yeah, like, shitty. Now I'm just going to get a pap smear and like an appointment for Chanel. Yeah. She's like, same bank account, <laughs> same bank account, different outfit. Yeah. Cause she went home. Here's the thing. She's in Chicago. She clearly, was that not the next day or she just went home and got changed and went right back? I don't know. I think she had it shipped to her. I think she had that outfit sent to her or someone got that outfit for her, right? She, she walks in head to toe Chanel. Oh, it's all Chanel she's wearing. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Bag, head, ba the whole look. And then she walks in She and they, they, I guess she doesn't have an appointment and they open the doors for her and she like walks in like sniffs or farts and then like fucking walks out. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, see, see, bitch. It's unreal. Um, <laughs> something, I mean, since, oh God, what else am I They are a little next? strict on Rodeo Drive, right? Like they are like. Well, I was saying this like the other day, it's ever since COVID and the smash and grabs and yeah. all that stuff, it's fucking ruined it for everybody. You can't just go into the store now. And it's like, like people that are going in and they're like, okay, I'm going to be dropping like, you know, for someone like me, if I was going in, I'd probably be like 2000, maybe 3000. There's one thing I wanted, right. right. That I'd be like saving for or whatever. Yeah. But like other people are like, I'm going to spend 10, I'm going to spend 12, 15, 20. Like, and you have to wait out fucking side. Yeah. Like. That's crazy. Yeah, it is crazy. I do remember feeling awful when I was in Rome and I went into the Gucci store. I remember like, um, they watch you. They just like, like you are assigned to a person and they just watch you shop. And like, you feel, I'm like, I don't want to buy if you're going to yeah. just be over my fucking shoulder. I know. Like. I it's, know. A, it's like, you can't browse. It's almost like you need to know exactly what you're going to get yeah. before you go in there. Yeah. Um, Thank you, internet. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you make any soups this week? Or are you like... I haven't made a soup this week. You haven't no, made a soup? Okay. I haven't made a soup this week. I made a chili the other week. Okay, but she's a soup queen, everyone. I'm a soup queen, yeah. That's, I just I always have to ask that question. Don't let it soup. Don't let... <laughs> <laughs> um, I have a Taylor Swift update because, I don't know, because I just do. We love it. So I was on TikTok the other day and I saw this and I have the, the vinyl or whatever. And so they said... Are you a big fan? Yeah, I think I'm going in Ireland in like two or three weeks or nice. like four weeks, whatever. And so inside the cover of the vinyl. Yeah. So there's like there's like a introductory poem by Stevie Nicks. And so she wrote it on what August 13th, 2023, right? But here there's September 13th at 850 PM. So Ooh. apparently September 13th was when Kanye kicked her off the stage like nine years ago or something Wait, like really? that. Yes. And then they're also, and, and it's number 13, right? That's her favorite number. And then 8.50 PM, 8 plus 5 is 13. So they're thinking Taylor, they think Taylor's version of reputation is going to drop then. But also 624 is another date because they're saying that 
because these numbers are flashing up on the stage now at the Eras Tour. Yeah. In certain songs, and it's like 624, but it looks like just strobe lights, but it's making out 624. Oh. So now there's two dates, but it could be the third part of this album. And then Reputation comes in September. God bless Taylor Swift for making a, an adult scavenger hunt. It's amazing. For it's, all her it's fans. Like, it's like, incredible. The Easter eggs are fantastic. It's really cool. I don't go down like the rabbit hole. Like I'm literally, like you should have seen the video to get to here. Like it was like <laughs> five minutes long. minutes long. Yeah. And I was like, okay, th so that's no, it. She was born on this street and this was her address. address but no. her first boyfriend's birthday was this date. She has three fingers held up on the mic. And so that's three plus the 10. Is that, oh no, they, her nail is a different color for this. It's white. Remember it was for the poets department. Now it's going turning black. It looks like a snake, a green, like it just fucking goes, but it's wow. really, it's fascinating to watch it, but I'm not doing the work for wow. it. Wow. And so then I'm there's just, Travis Kelsey, host of, are you smarter than a fifth grader? Yes. <laughs> no. I know. And my ex-boyfriend worked on that show. Oh my God. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Um, I think that's all we have. I mean, this was like impromptu. Like Anna was in town. I was like, get over to my apartment. Let's shoot this. And so that's it. Go follow her on Instagram, Anna Roisman. And Thanks. um, and watch. We did a few videos and we still have to edit some more videos and post yeah, them. Yeah, we got lots of content together. I love it. Yeah, just save it for like next I'm year. I'm just letting it stew right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, get out. Okay, bye. Bye.